The evolution of the planet Earth from its creation to the present is the subject of Earth history. The major occurrences of Earth's past, which were marked by continuous geological change and biological evolution, have been better understood thanks to the work of nearly all fields of natural science. The vast periods of time from the creation of the Earth to the present are shown by the Geological Timescale GTS, as defined by International Convention, and its divisions detail some pivotal moments in Earth history. By accretion from the solar nebula, Earth was created 4.54 billion years ago, or roughly one-third the age of the universe. Although the early atmosphere had very no oxygen, it is likely that volcanic outgassing produced the primordial atmosphere first, followed by the ocean. Due to frequent collisions with other bodies, which caused intense volcanism, a large portion of the Earth was molten. The Moon is believed to have been created by a massive impact collision with a planet-sized entity called Thea when the Earth was still in its early stages, during the early Earth. As the Earth cooled over time, a solid crust formed in liquid water could exist on the surface. The Hadean Aeon, which started with the birth of the planet and ended 4.0 billion years ago, is the period before there is a trustworthy fossil record of life. The earliest evolution of life on Earth and its origins occurred during the Archean and Proterozoic eons that followed. The Phanerozoic Aeon that follows is divided into three periods, the Paleozoic, which was characterized by the emergence of fish and arthropods as well as the first life on land, the Mesozoic, which covered the emergence, dominance, and final mass extinction of non-avian dinosaurs, and the Cenozoic, which saw the emergence of mammals. On the geological timescale, recognizable people only appeared at most 2 million years ago. At least 3.5 billion years ago, during the Eorchean era, when a geological crust began to develop following the earlier liquid Hadean Aeon, the earliest conclusive evidence of life on Earth was discovered. 3.48 billion year old Western Australian sandstone contains microbial mat fossils such as stromatolites. Graphite found in 3.7 billion year old metasedimentary rocks in southwestern Greenland and remains of biotic life identified in 4.1 billion year old rocks in Western Australia are two further early examples of physical evidence for a biogenic substance. One of the researchers asserted that life could be abundant in the universe if it emerged relatively fast on Earth. Between 3.2 and 2.4 billion years ago, the first photosynthesis-capable creatures emerged, causing the oxygen content of the atmosphere to increase. Prior to the emergence of complex multicellular life around 580 million years ago, which gradually evolved and culminated in the Cambrian explosion approximately 538.8 million years ago, most life was small and microscopic. The majority of the main phyla that are recognized today were created by this abrupt diversification of living forms, which also separated the Proterozoic Aeon from the Paleozoic era's Cambrian period. Over 5 billion species, or 99%, of all those that have ever existed on Earth are thought to have perished. There are an estimated 10 million to 14 million species on Earth today, of these, 1.2 million are documented, but more than 86% have not yet been described. One trillion species are thought to exist on Earth today, yet only one thousandth of one percent have been described, according to a recent estimate. Since the Earth's formation, both its crust and life itself have undergone continuous alteration. In response to constantly shifting physical conditions, species continue to change, taking on new forms, dividing into daughter species, or falling extinct. The continents and oceans of the Earth, as well as the life they support, are still being shaped by the process of plate tectonics. Scientists have found that a large comet or asteroid, comparable to the one that wiped out the dinosaurs, wiped off the giant reptile's ancestors 200 million years ago, which has terrifying implications for humans' dominion of the Earth. According to the research, collisions between our planet and huge objects on a regular basis function as a kind of evolutionary dice shaker, knocking back established species and elevating less common ones. We might be the next. The Great Dying, which occurred 251 million years ago and caused the rapid extinction of 70% of land vertebrates and 90% of all marine creatures, has long been a topic of discussion among paleontologists. The newest issue of the journal Science reports on the first proof that a collision between a comet or asteroid like the one that wiped out the dinosaurs 65 million years ago truly took place. Helium and argon gas molecules, which have been trapped in carbon since the great dying, have been discovered by researchers at the universities of Washington and Rochester in the U.S. to be present in quantities that could only have come from space. 
The attack originated from a body between 6 and 12 kilometers wide, just like in the subsequent collision. However, we do have a current best guess for the beginning of life on Earth, which we think occurred around 3.8 billion years ago. But before we get into that, let's start from the beginning and take a trip back in time. The Earth didn't always exist, and it wasn't always hospitable for life, about 4.6 billion years ago. The Earth has changed so many times and transformed heavily from when it first formed. How life came from non-life is still a big scientific mystery. Apart from water, the location of our planet in relation to its star, the Sun, is also crucial for the emergence of life. Earth is in the so-called Goldilocks zone, which places it close enough to the Sun to permit liquid water to exist on the Earth's surface before life even began or had a chance to exist there. The early Earth had very little oxygen, if any, and it is thought that there was no oxygen on our planet at all. The two major categories of life, bacteria and archaea, developed from a common ancestor at some point during this period, though the specific mechanism is still unknown billions of years later. Around 3.6 billion years ago, tiny microbes and single-celled organisms began to feed on methane. At the 3 billion year mark, evidence of viruses was discovered, though some contend that viruses may be as old as life itself. During the early history of the planet, cyanobacteria, a class of microbes that can convert light and water into energy and release oxygen in the process, evolved. This turned the planet towards habitability. In essence, these cyanobacteria in the form of algae ate themselves to death and caused a global extinction, but the worst was about to come around 2.3 billion years ago when the Earth froze over as a possible result of the Great Oxidation Event and volcanic activity on the planet slowed down over time the ice melted WHE the ice was melting. Large sharks, hagfish, and ratfish evolved during this time, paving the way for the Carboniferous Epoch, when the climate on Earth was believed to be tropical with minimal seasonal variation and a new wave of bizarre species began to emerge. The growth of these forests increased oxygen levels in the atmosphere, which peaked at around 35% compared to the 21% it is today. This alone might explain the size of the giant creepy crawlies that emerged. Some animals and insects may have developed in water and grew bigger as a way to procreate. Reptiles evolved into forms similar to modern-day lizards with a backbone that allowed them to live and move on land. These amphibians were also huge and some species were predatory resembling modern-day crocodiles, armed with sharp teeth and reaching lengths of almost 6 meters long and like modern-day crocodilians. Deadly poisonous centipedes two meters long crawled around with mammoth cockroaches and scorpion the first large plant-eating and meat-eating animals evolved during this time. Some of these creatures could be mistaken for dinosaurs but were actually more closely related to mammals and reptiles. The Permian period replaced the Carboniferous period, which started around 300 million years ago and was just 50 million years before the dinosaurs. All the continents during this period existed as one large landmass called Pangaea. During the Permian period, mammals were gaining dominance. The largest of these were creatures categorized as Gorgonopsians, a class of enormous bear-like animals that all had different teeth that were specialized for different functions. These animals could be either hippopotamuses or tyrannosaurs. Another new reptile on the planet was the iconic Dimetrodon, which grew to about 5 meters long and had a large sail on its back that is likely used to regulate its body. How did scientists arrive at this conclusion? Molecules of helium and argon gas were found locked in carbon in high proportions that could have only come from space. It's estimated that the asteroid or comet was between 6 and 12 kilometers wide in diameter. Researchers say the strike would have released the energy. It was similar to the one that wiped out the dinosaurs 200 million years ago. In addition to this revelation, there is some evidence that over a million years ago, volcanic eruptions of an unimaginably large scale occurred in modern-day Siberia and China. These eruptions produced dust and ash clouds that blacked out sunlight. A coating of lava 10 meters thick, measuring 3 million cubic kilometers, covered the entire planet. The eruptions and the asteroid collision were like the shotgun blast from a double-barreled shotgun. Earth was once more a terribly depressing place. These two things happened together to cause what is known as the Great Dying. It would appear that this would be the final chapter in the evolution of life on Earth and that it would appear to have been wiped out completely, but a new age would begin after this and the age of the dinosaurs would begin. Would you like to see what happened after that Great Permian extinction and how the Great Dinosaurs got their start? 
If so, let us know in the comments section and make sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.